Okay, you mentioned the name Maurice Claret to a sports fan. The usual response is, oh yeah, that guy, whatever happened to him? And Justin Beasley, we got an answer. Yeah, it is one of forgiveness, redemption, and grace. And now Claret, who was in town this past week, is sharing his story of, you might hit rock bottom, but you don't have to stay there. Maurice Claret was at the top of the college football world. Inside the box, pushing into the end zone, Maurice Claret. A freshman phenom who had just helped Ohio State win a national championship. But on the field, that's all Claret would ever do. Soon after, he was suspended for what he did off the field, taking impermissible benefits and lying to NCAA investigators about it. My life has been very public on TV, so I, I deal with everything. Everything from the drug and alcohol addiction and gun charges that led Claret to spend more than three years behind bars. When I went to prison, one of the best things that happened was that, you know, I enjoy reading. I enjoy uh, educating myself. I enjoy uh, developing who I was. And it led to the man that Claret is today as a motivational speaker, willing to share his story with anyone that will hear it. I'm fortunate that uh, my rebirthing uh, happened from a great failure. Went through some uh, some downward spirals. I've been able to redeem myself and sort of have like a circle of life sort of moment. Very few people have experienced what I've experienced both with success and failure uh, in a public eye. And you know, when you tell the truth about your life, I think that uh, that truth resonates and connects with people on a personal level. That's how Claret connects with his audience in a way that very few can, with his speeches all around the country, his podcast, and therapy centers in Ohio. Part of therapy is to unfold yourself, to bring more out of yourself, to talk, to open up, right? And so being able to bring that mentality on these platforms that are um, untraditional in a, in a changing world, I think is, um, I don't know, it's, it's special. You know, I thank God that I'm able to do it. Amen to that. Now, Claret never played another down in college after his freshman year, never played a down in the NFL either, but a great example of how athletes who aren't afraid to try something new can make their biggest difference outside the lines.